Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm still sick, but I'm gonna push a video out for you guys today anyways, because we've got some pretty interesting stuff. So, let's start off with a new store starter pack. I've already purchased it, and as you guys can see here, it is Laguna. The Laguna starter pack is officially out. Um, Laguna, Storm the Beach, it is part of the Beach Battalion set. Uh, the other part of this this set would be the fresh cut pickaxe and the merino outfit. Now this is a pretty interesting starter pack. Um, this is the second female skin, I believe. Yeah, the second female skin from the starter pack. And this is the first starter pack, I believe, that wasn't purple. Because this one actually came with something else, which was also a first. The pineapple wrap which I have here on this submachine gun. So that is interesting. And, with that being said, also, as you all have known, Getaway has officially concluded. I finished all the challenges. I got the Diamond Crystal Llama, which was a bit of a grind, but I did it, so I'm happy about that. Um, I also got the Crowbar, which I didn't have from the first time, as well as I have the Spray... Um, I also got the loading screen, which I don't have immediately on. I just have darting through danger on from week three. But anyways, the new item shop, we've got the new traversal emote drum major, which... I've just got no words for that, honestly. i just got no words. We also had the release of Axiom and Scion. And we also had the Psionic Edge Pickaxe and the Disruptor Glider. Um, as well as today, we got a brand new update that came with a new weapon, which I will showcase for you guys in a second here. But let's start off with a new leak. The new leak was this wrap right here called Rivet. This was revealed in the files this morning, and I actually just purchased it. It was in the shop. Um, it, it's in the shop tonight. And it was actually listed as a waypoint wrap, which as you can see, waypoint's also here in the store too. And she's also got a new style with no mask. So this is pretty interesting. I like how they leaked a, a wrap today just to put it into the shop immediately. Um, that's pretty neat. And I'm guessing the whole style of this wrap is that it's supposed to look like metallic and robot-like. I don't know. It's part of the Waypoint set, so... Eh, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, let's go test out this new gun. I'm going to go into Playground, actually. Actually, no, I'm going to go into Creative. Let's go into Creative and let's test out this new gun. Now that I'm in uh, Creative mode, I want to show you guys the brand new weapon that we got today, which is called the Flint Knock Pistol. Now we have Common Variants and we also have uncommon variants. I'm going to equip the uncommon and let's test this thing out. So I've seen a lot of videos on it and pretty much what you do, if you crouch you can shoot and you won't have a problem. But, here's the catch. For this one if you don't crouch it does this. It's called flint knock for a reason. It knocks you back. And you can launch yourself in the air with it. And now let me demonstrate something else real quick that is also really interesting. You can build up in the air, or you can be in the middle of a fight, and then all of a sudden, you can, let's say, all of a sudden in the middle of the battle, you fall. Oh no, what am I going to do? Oh, look at that. I can save myself from fall damage with the new flint knock pistol. This is a really, really cool gun, and I really like how it's implemented into the fall damage aspect, which is very helpful. Also, we got a new change to the impulse grenades. Let's test this out, because they, they got an increase, a 344% buff to the amount of distance that it takes a vehicle. Oh! Okay, that was just with a baller. Let's do this. There goes the drift board. See you later. Baller. See you later. You're heading out of here. Goodbye, baller. 
Now let's test it out on a quad crasher. Let's uh, go to wall here. And then just uh, switch to quad crasher. Let's try this. Woohoo! There goes the quad crasher. You can see there's definitely been a drastic change in impulse grenades and how far they take vehicles now. <laughs> These things are they're very powerful though. So that is pretty much it for everything in the new update. Um, I don't think there's anything else new. Um, if I see anything else, I'll make sure to add it at the end of this video. So as I mentioned in the previous video, I did say I was going to add on to anything. <laughs> And, well, it's not that I found something new, it's more along the lines of I completely forgot to add a few things to the end of this video. So, this area over here, the Truckin' Oasis, uh, there is actually a helicopter that has been moving around the map pretty, uh, pretty quickly recently. Uh, it, it went from over by the volcano all the way over to here and it's currently on top of this mountain just outside of the truck and oasis and um, one thing i want to check there's a rumor that's been going around that the telescope is actually facing in a specific direction and if i look oh, let's see if i look in this direction specifically um no never mind it's not going where it where people said it was people were saying that the uh that the telescope was actually pointing towards snobby shores where the viking village uh the new viking house is right in here but um, i guess that's that's not the case but anyways th this this helicopter this government helicopter this was a dusty divot around season four back when the meteor originally hit um, and it's finally making a return again but this also means that the government will most likely be having some sort of role throughout the rest of season eight now that could also lead into how lux plays a great part in the storyline which also makes me think that lux might also be getting brand new styles which will not make it a useless tier 100 skin my theory that's going on with lux is that lux is a millionaire lux is actually planning on buying the island and transforming a piece of it into her own little rich type area. And that, of course, would be very, very interesting, and I would love to see that happen right around Lonely Lodge-ish, right around where this mansion, where that mansion is. So, I really hope to see that happen in the future. Also, one last thing I want to mention about this is that the rock people, they have moved. The rock people, as we know from the previous weeks, started to reform themselves after the volcano kind of broke them apart. Um, it got to the point where they finally realized where they were, and they waved at each other, and they were like, Hey, I see you over there. I'm going to come and see you. And then all of a sudden, boom, the volcano shows up, and everything just goes to shit. Well, they fell apart. And now they've reformed, and they're starting to walk to each other. They started calling out to each other the other day, and now they're on the move. Now, as you can see, this guy right here, male devil rock dude, he is actually walking towards this part of the volcano. Uh, I believe he was originally right there, so he's moved quite a bit from his previous location. And um, if I'm not mistaken... Um, she is right over in here somewhere, which I'm going to get over there as fast as I can. Now, my theory for these rock people is that they're actually going to meet up right here towards the entrance of the volcano, and they might actually sacrifice themselves to stop the volcano from erupting, which could mean we'll be getting an event in which the rock people move. Which, this is going to be very interesting for the storyline if that does happen, because these guys will play a, kind of like a sacrificial role to this volcano. So, I'd like to see this. I, I wouldn't like to see this, per se, but I, I do think that would be a really interesting way of 
changing the game. Now, as you can see here, like I was saying, she's on the move as well, and it's to the point where she is here, he is here, eventually they're going to meet up most likely right here, or maybe they could meet up here because I think about the midpoint is right there, but nonetheless, it would be interesting to see them uh, meet up somewhere in the lava. I wonder if the rock dude here is going to somehow cross the lava, or if he's just going to walk right through it. That would be really interesting to see him walk into the, the lava and just kind of melt. Or, here's where my other theory starts. The Like I mentioned earlier, this guy is considered a devil rock. Now, the reason I say that is because there is a leaked skin set in the game files currently called Devil Rock. And this is a, like, this is an encrypted set, I believe. I think it's a set. I don't know if it's a skin, a pickaxe, or what it is, if it's a full set. But Devil Rock would make sense if this giant rock creature moves into the lava, turns into, like, this lava monster, and then that how, that's how it turns into a Devil Rock. And then she does the same thing. She moves into the lava. They, be, they both become devil rocks and then possibly sacrifice themselves to the volcano. I don't know. But nonetheless, that would be a pretty interesting idea. And, I mean, I wouldn't hold it past Fortnite to end up doing something like this sometime in the future. Or, if at all, I mean, to be honest with you guys, anything is possible with Fortnite. There is not a single thing in Fortnite that is impossible I, I I could probably think of just the most random thing storyline wise that connects to this game that would possibly happen and it might actually happen in the future but nonetheless that is all for this video I hope you guys enjoyed and um, yeah sorry this was a little bit long of a video but I had a lot of topics that I had to cover from what I missed so that is all. That's it.